All right, 9.6, solving exponential and logarithmic equations. So number one, I've got 6 to the x equals 36. So what I'm going to do on this, since I can rewrite 36 as 6 to an exponent, I'm going to make this side 6 to the x still. And then let's see, 6 times 6 is 36, so that'll be 6 to the second power. Now, since these bases match, these exponents have to be equal, which means x equals Alright, number two, we got 4 to the 5x equals 16. So once again, I can rewrite 16 as 4 to an exponent, so I'm going to bring down my 4 to the 5x. 16 would be 4 times 4, which would be 4 to the second power. Now, since the bases match up, that means the exponents have to be equal, so 5x equals 2. To finish that off, I'll divide both sides by 5 to make that x equal a two-fifths final answer. All right, number three, I got five to the x equals 24. So now what's happening on this one, I cannot rewrite five as, as I mean, uh, I cannot rewrite 24 as five to an exponent. So what I need to do is bring that x down by taking the ln of both sides. So I'm going to take the ln of five to the x. That's going to equal the ln of 24. Now what I'm going to do, use the power rule, bring that x down to the front, so you get x ln 5 equals ln 24, and then to get the x by itself, divide both sides by that ln 5. So I'm going to do that on my calculator. So let's see, I got a ln of 24, close parentheses, divided by ln of 5, close parentheses, and it looks like I get x equals 1.9746. Now the reason mine is giving me four decimal places because on mode I went down here and took it off the float and put it on four decimal places. All right, let's see what we got for number four. Three to the nine x minus five equals 81. All right, I can rewrite 81 as 3 to an exponent, so let's bring down that 3 to the 9x minus 5. Let's see, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81, so that would be 3 to the 4th power. Since the bases match, I know that 9x minus 5 has to equal 4. And let's solve that for the x by adding 5. So 9x equals 9, and then divide both sides by 9, and I get x equals 1. And right, number five, I got three to the x equals five. So I cannot rewrite three as, I mean five as three to an exponent, which means I'm going to take an ln of both sides. So ln of three to the x equals ln of five, which means I'm going to bring my x down out front using the power rule. Then to get the x by itself, divide both sides by that ln 3. So let's see, we'll get our x equals. Now let's figure out what a ln of 5 divided by ln of 3 equals. And that gives me 1.4650. Alright, moving on to number 6. I got 10 to the negative x equals 8 to the 5x. Alright, let's see what we got here. So, cannot rewrite these using the same bases. So I'm going to take the ln of both sides. And then bring my exponents down to the front. So I got negative x ln 10 equals 5x ln 8. Alright, so what I'm going to do is get everything on one side together. So I'm going to add x ln 10 to both sides. So let's see, that's going to give me a 0 over here. And over here I just get a 5lx, I mean 5x ln 8 plus a x ln 10. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out that x as a GCF on this side. So I get an x times 5 ln 8 plus ln 
10. And then finally get the x by itself. Let's divide both sides by 5 ln 8 plus ln 10. And do that over here. 5 ln 8 plus ln 10. But guess what? 0 divided by anything is going to be 0 equal to my x. Because on that side, those cancel out. Right, number 7, I got e to the t equals 153. So I cannot rewrite 153 as e to an exponent. So I'm going to take an ln of both sides. I'm going to bring my t down to the front. Now remember, ln of e is just 1. Okay. So that this gives me t equals ln of 153. And then let's finally figure out what the ln of 153 is going to equal. And that gives me 5.0304. All right, let's see. We got number 8 here. Number 8 is e to the negative 0.87t is going to equal 0.89. Once again, I'm going to take the ln and bring that down. And remember, i got to do that to both sides. So what it's going to do is bring my exponent down, so I get a negative 0.87t. ln of e, which is 1, so I don't have to write that, but I will just for a second. And that's going to equal ln of 0.89. So since ln of e is 1, I get negative 0.87t equals ln of 0.89. I'll then divide both sides by negative 0.87. So that we figure out what our t is. So let's see, we got an ln 0.89, close parentheses, divided by negative 0.87. And we get a 0.1339. All right, y'all. Moving to number nine. I got six to the x equals three to the x plus one. Once again, I cannot rewrite these using the same base, so I'm going to take an ln of both sides, which is going to bring my exponents down to the front. Now, remember, this x plus one is technically in parentheses. Okay. Now. Let's get everything on one side. So what I'm going to do is subtract x ln 6 from both sides. So remember what I'm going to get. I'm going to get 0 equals the x plus 1 ln 3 minus the x ln 6. Okay, let's see what we got. So I'm going to distribute this now. So I get an x ln 3 plus 1 times ln 3 is a ln 3, minus my x, ln 6. Alright, so what I'm going to do is subtract the ln 3 from both sides. Okay, so I'm going to get a negative ln 3 equals x ln 3 minus the x, ln 6. All right, so what we want to do now is factor out the x as a GCF over here. So that's going to leave me at ln3 minus ln6 in parentheses. And over here, I still had my negative ln3. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to divide both sides by ln3 minus ln6, ln3 minus ln6. All right, so notice over here that cancels. That's going to leave my x. So let's see what we get. We got a negative ln of 3 divided by parentheses ln 3, close those parentheses, minus ln 6, close those parentheses, and then close the big parentheses. And I get 1.5850. Alright, number 10. Right now, I got logs. I got log base 4 of x equals 2. 
So the trigonometry is rewriting them as exponential. So base 4 to exponent 2 equals x. And I can figure out what 4 squared is. It is 16. So I get 16 for my final answer. Right, 11, I got log x equals negative 5. So remember, that's a base 10 since there's no numbers shown. So I got 10 to the negative fifth equals x. So let's see. Let's go there and let's put in a negative 5 for that. I'm going to get that, but I'm going to turn that into a fraction. All right, so it's just going to give me... On that, let's see how I'm going to write that answer. All right, so I'm just going to write that as a point. Zero, 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 one. So remember, since that's negative, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five places there, okay? All right, now to show you what that looks like, let me go back to float for a second. I almost keep putting them in scientific notation for some reason. Oh, well. All righty, let's try number 12. Log base 6, 4x minus 4 is going to equal 4. So I'll rewrite this as exponential 6 to the 4th power equals 4x minus 4. So let's see what 6 to the 4th power equals. That equals 1296. That's going to equal 4x minus 4. So to solve that, I'm going to add 4 to both sides. That's going to give me 1300 equals 4x and then divide both sides by 4. So let's see what 1300 divided by 4 is going to give us. And that's going to give me 325 equal to my x. Alright y'all, moving on. 13 log x plus log x minus 21 equals 2. So since these are being added, I'm going to write them as a single log and make that into a product member. So we rewrite sums as products. Now, since they don't have a base, we know that's a base 10. So I got 10 to the 21st is going to equal x times x minus 21. All right, let's see what 10, let's see. This is going to give me what, an x squared minus 21x. And then let me see what I did here. Oh, y'all, that's a 2 there, my bad. That's 10 squared, which give me 100. All right, so I accidentally put 1 there. So I was wondering what was up. Okay, so... Remember, that's the exponent. The base is 10. That equals x times x21. So that this is 100. Now to solve that, I want to subtract 100 from both sides because it's quadratic. So I get 0 equals x squared minus 21 minus 100. All right, I'm going to factor that. But remember, you could hit that with the quad if you want to. All right, so what factors of... 100 will equal 21. That would be 25 and 4. Since 25 is a bigger number, I'm going to make it negative. And a 4 positive. And then remember, set both of them equal to 0 and get your answers. So I'll get a negative 4. And then I'll get a positive 25. But I need to check these answers because if you put a negative 4 back in for the x, it gives you a does not exist. So the only answer is going to be 25. Alright, so check the answers and make sure you're not taking the log of a negative number. Alright, log base 3 of a t plus 16 minus log base 3 of t plus 7 is going to equal log base 3 of t. So, I'm going to bring that to the other side and get all my logs on one side. So let's see what that gives me. That's going to give me a log 3 t plus 16 minus log 3 t plus 7 minus log 3 of a t all equal to 0. Alright, so I'm going to rewrite this now as a single log. So I got log 
base 3, on top will be a t plus 16. Now since both of these are being subtracted, they're going to the bottom. So I got a t plus 7, and then that other t, all equal to 0. So now I'm going to rewrite this as exponential. I got 3 to the 0 equals t plus 16. And I'm going to foil this on the bottom or distribute it so that I get a t squared plus 7t. All right, 3 to the 0 is 1. And then I'm just going to bring this over. All right, so I'm going to multiply both sides by t squared plus 7t. So that's how we get rid of fractions, is by multiplying by those denominators. See, that cancels. So over here, you got t squared plus 7t times 1 is that, equals t plus 16. All right, so since it's quadratic again, we need to get the t's on one side. So I got t squared my, uh, plus 6t equals 16. And then let's move the 16 over so that we end up with a t squared plus 6t minus 16 equals 0. So once again, I'm going to factor this, but you could hit it with the quad, member. That's negative, so I got a plus and a minus. Factors a 16, that'll give me a 6, or 8 and 2. Since the 6 is positive, the 8 will be positive, and the 2 will be negative. And then remember, set both these equal to 0. So I'm going to get a negative 8 for my first answer, and then a positive 2 for the second answer. So let's check this. Uh, if I go back up here and take a log base 3 of a negative 8, it's going to give me a does not exist. So I cannot keep the negative answer and I can only keep my positive answer. Alright y'all, I'm going to get one more out of here I think. Which is 15 log base 4 x plus 1 minus log base 4 of x equals 3. So I'm going to write this as a single log. Since they're being subtracted, it's going to look like division. x plus 1 will be on top. x will be on the bottom, and that's all equal to 3. So let's rewrite it as exponential. i got 4 to the third power is going to equal x plus 1 over x. So 4 to the third is 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 equals x plus 1 over x. I'm going to multiply both sides by the LCD x to get rid of that fraction there. So I got 64x equals x plus 1. I'm going to subtract an x from both sides. I got 63x equals 1. I need to make that x by itself. Divide both sides by 63 so that x equals 1 over 63. Right, I might can get this one in. Let me try. Log 3 of x plus log 3 x minus 1 equals log 3 of 6. So I'm going to subtract this, get it to the other side. So let's see, I got a log 3 of x plus log 3 x minus 1 minus log 3 of 6 equals 0. So these two are being added. They're going to go to the top this time. So I get an x, x minus 1 on top. The one being subtracted will go to the bottom. And that's still the base 3, and all that equals 0. So let's rewrite this as 3 to the 0 equals x squared minus x over 6. So I just distributed that through. 3 to 0 is 1. Multiply both sides by the LCD 6 so that that cancels. And we get... 6 equals x squared minus x. Subtract 6 from both sides. 0 equals x squared minus x minus 6. Let's factor that now. So I get an x minus 3, x plus 2. And when you solve those, you'll get x equals 3, x equals negative 2. Cannot keep the negative 2 and keep the 3. Y'all, I'm sorry I'm out of time on this because they only give me 20 minutes. So you got one left, but remember the idea is to try to write these as a single log. Good luck.